on this beautiful late September this day, it's a warm welcome to Home Park, where Plymouth Argyle clash with Warsaw in the second division. Whilst Argyle search for their first win of the season, Warsaw arrive at Home Park on a high after beating Nottingham Forest in the Coca-Cola Cup on Wednesday. The Saddlers won the second round tie, 3-2 on aggregate, after a great match at the Bescott Stadium, screened live on Sky. Warsaw came from behind to secure that win, Andy Watson's two extra time goals sparking jubilant scenes at full time. Now manager Jan Sorensen turns his attention to the more important matters of the league. Also starting to hit form now after a slow start with French striker Roger Bowley earning rave reviews. They're unbeaten in four games following their exploits over Forest, a draw at Preston and a 2-0 home win against York. Michael, on the other hand, may be without a win so far this season, but they've still only lost twice this season in the league. Mick Jones will now be waiting to turn draws into wins. Against Carlisle last Saturday, Argyle players earned praise for a determined performance as they earned a 2-2 draw, Paddy Wilson scoring his first league goal of his career. Today's teams then, and Mick Jones is down to the bare minimum at present, the latest casualty, Richard Logan, who is out with knee ligament trouble. He's replaced by Mark Saunders, who makes his first full appearance of the season after finally signing a new contract. Argyle's team then is John Sheffield in goal, two Chris Billy, three Paul Williams, four Ronnie Morget, five Mick Heathcote, six Paul Watton, seven Martin Barlow, eight Mark Saunders, nine Adrian Littlejohn, ten Carlo Corazon, and eleven Patrick Wilson. Neil Illman, Earl Jean, and Simon Collins are today's substitutes. So Argyle will be warned, look out for the Warsaw number seven, Roger Bowley. He's their star attraction. Whilst Argyle fans may remember number four, Adrian Pavish. He had a trial at Home Park about two years ago. James Walker's the Warsaw goalkeeper today. Two Wayne Evans, three Darren Rogers, four Adrian Vavish, five Derek Mountfield, six Jean-Francois Perron, seven Roger Bowley, eight Justin Skinner, nine Dean Keats, ten Andy Watson, and eleven John Hodge. Gary Porter, Stuart Ryder and Clive Pat are today's substitutes. Mark Halsey is your referee today, G.A. Beale and L.C. Jones are his assistants, R. Lark is the referee's assistant. So a quite unique atmosphere at Home Park, the fans showing how much the club means to them and Warsaw attacking from right to left are about to get this game underway. Finally, we're underway. And straight in there, very, the very beginning is Wilson, and there's Barlow, Williams. Well, also finding out straight away that Argyle are going to be extra determined today to earn those first three points of the season. Little John scored last week up at Carlisle, and showing a lot of strength to keep possession here for the Pilgrims. He's on the left-hand side, gets across in, it comes off Evans. Corazon to Martin Barlow. Well, just to start, Mick Jones would have been looking for. Argyle all out attack. Argyle first of a tackle, and it finishes with a shot there from Martin Barlow. So James Walker, the former Knox County trainee, is the Walsall goalkeeper this afternoon. Three clean sheets in the last four games. Good to see Mark Saunders back in the side. Apparently been outstanding in training and will be a welcome member of this Argyle team today. Here's Barlow, who's also back in the side after missing the beginning of the season through injury, of course. And here's Bowley. Paul Watton's shackling for now. And that's the former fellow Frenchman, Francois Parron. Bowley again. Heathco trying his best to stop the Frenchman, but it was not good enough. Barlow in the end having to head away. And here's Little John. Morgé takes over. Williams to Morgé's left, just making an outstanding run. 
Mouge picks him out. Here's the Argo number three, Williams. He's got Mouge on the edge of the penalty area. Instead, chooses to cross. And it evades the keeper, James Walker, in no man's land. And that was almost an embarrassing moment for the Warsaw goalkeeper. Paul Williams, an attempted cross, almost turned to a freak goal. Saunders. Little John appeals for an Argyle throw in. Granted. Chris Billy. Argyle then. No Richard Logan playing a four man defence. Talk of Billy perhaps playing a sweeper, but in the end, Argyle changing their formation. And it's Saunders and Barlow, the two central midfielders this afternoon. Chris Billy, no Richard Logan, of course, to take those long throw-ins. Barlow, skilled to get round one man, but he's now in a real struggle here, and in the end has to concede a goal kick. former Danish international midfield star Jan Sorensen's in charge, replacing Chris Nicol as manager of Warsaw in the summer. Carl Lightbourne's left the club and Kevin Wilson also are two very important squad members. Derek Manfield was all set to leave the club in the summer but was appointed first team coach and is also of course playing today. The referee isn't happy with Corazon. Oh, Billy. Those are the disgust of these Argyle fans. The referee's getting his book out. Darren Rogers, former West Brom and Birmingham man, will take this free kick. Once the ball is back, the mandatory 10 yards. Mountfield, the club captain, is pushing forward. Argyle offside trap works well. The referee quite rightly playing advantage. No point stopping play, even though the goal kick has been awarded. kick there. Luckily it goes straight to Billy. Moshe, Saunders, the offside flags up. The referee looking for an advantage again but I got that possession so he had to stop playing and ward a free kick to Warsaw. So here's Mountfield, well known player of the past. Not one of his best career moments, that ball there. Here's Barlow. Corazon. Back in the side after injury and then international duty. Terrible tackle there on Adrian Littlejohn. Argyle Vance fuming. Little John fell to the ground in agony, still on the ground as we speak. And the referee again, going to get the book out. That pencil's a bit hot, isn't it? 
It's Adrian Pavish, the offender. And the moment that tackle was made, you had a feeling a booking was on the cards. Well, Vavich is shaking his head, but he can have a few complaints, in fairness. And it's a yellow card. And when we resume play, well, Argyle have a dangerous position here. Martin Barlow standing over the ball. He has many options. He can go for goal. Or he's got Heathcote in the penalty area to aim at. You might even see one of Argyle's set-piece moves, where they try and trick the Warsaw defence. Who knows? We're about to find out that we've... Approaching the eighth minute of this game, it's Plymouth nil, Warsaw nil. And all eyes on Martin Barlow. Indeed, it is one from the set piece training ground, and there's a shot there in the end by Wilson. I've trying to find Billy with that free kick. Warsaw defender got in the, in the way, but in the end, Paddy Wilson, who scored his first league goal for the club, his second goal in all last week against Carlisle. He had a rather tame effort saved by the keeper. And here's Wilson again, hoping for a better effort now. Again going for goal. Two shots in a minute. The former Ashton United man making a real impression at home park. Winning lots of fans. Heathcote. One of the first touches of the game there for Skinner, conceding a throw-in. is the Plymouth Argyle player of the year, Chris Billy. Long ball forward, finds Little John. Corazon just unable to get hold of that one. And now it's Skinner. Billy, well in. And now one for Wilson to chase. Did that come off Rogers last? It may well have done, but in the end, a free kick is the decision. A foul there by Wilson. Taking quickly, here's Hodge. Watson now. Evans. Young centre-back there, Paul Watson to Saunders, and now Barlow forward. Wilson rather helpless there. Bit of skill there by Perron. And a free kick to Walsall. Here's Favish. That looks a good ball, looking for Watson. Watson had to be alert. The danger's far from over though, Hodge. Twisting and turning, gets a cross in. And it's looping there, looping header. And John Sheffield had to be saved from tip it over for the first corner of the afternoon. Not sure who it came off, but Sheffield looked worried, as did the Argyle fans. And Argyle will be relieved just to see the corner there. After some good work on the wing by Hodge, who now takes this corner kick. Away by Billy. Morgé now, Argyle on the break. Wilson didn't stand much chance against the dominating figure that is Derek Mountfield. But Argyle do get a corner. Throw in.
Perhaps a very bright opening. The game's a bit quiet at the moment. Perhaps Carlo Corazon might improve matters. Billy, lovely skill. Well, that's rather harsh on Billy because he did outstanding work to get round Jean-Francois Perron. And unfortunately, just ran out of room to complete a bit of outstanding wing play. Corazon. Argo might break here. It falls to Wilson. Still Wilson. How on earth are Wilson surviving here? Up to the ground. Mark Saunders appears for a penalty. Argo surround the referee. Well, a double escape there for Warsaw. First of all, after outstanding intervention by Corazon, finding Wilson, but he just couldn't get a shot in. Good defensive work by Manfield. But then Mark Saunders seemed to be bundled to the ground. The Warsaw defence charged into him, and whilst Argo were adamant there was a penalty, the referee just wasn't interested. Here's the little John. Started his career at Warsaw. Here he is again. Can he hurt his former club? Gets a cross in. Comes off Mountfield. Argo got a corner. The first of the game. Well, an outstanding atmosphere today at Home Park, making this a real occasion. Can Argo reward the fans' loyalty by getting a goal? It's a dangerous corner, and Walker, who's looked a bit uncomfortable on a couple of occasions this afternoon, showing some good goalkeeping and some good handling that time. Well played Wilson to dispossess the French star, Baz or Roger Bowley rather. Roger. Wayne Evans, fifth season with the Saddlers. John Hodge. This is Watson. Bowley. Keats. Barlow, those taking over for Pilgrims. Watson. Who's looking for the run here of Wilson. Whether we'll find him or not is another matter. But Argyle fans very enthusiastic in their support today as we just passed the quarter of an hour mark. John Sheffield gets good contact on that ball. Corazon well up. go to Saunders. Now Little John, it seems to have been all over the place in the opening quarter of an hour of this game. Superb play by Little John, it's a great cross. Wilson is very nearly there. They're all still in play, it's Perron. gives a throw into Walsall and at the end of the day it's Mark Halsey who makes the final decision whether the Argyle fans like it or not. Corazon won't give this one up. It's Argyle's throw. Paul Watson. He's in for a bit of a stick for the rest of the game. Could easily have given a penalty. And there's the man who was involved in that controversial moment, Mark Saunders. 
Well, Jean-Francois Perron at number six has been the outstanding player for Warsaw so far. Billy better be careful throwing the ball down like that, could get booked. He's already earned one booking today, he'll be off if he gets the yellow, the yellow card. It's Bowley. This time he's showing a lot of strength. Corazon. No one there to take advantage of that ball forward. Morget. Even the dug out a few for that decision. Billy again conceding the free kick. And for now, Mark Halsey's perhaps the most unpopular man at home park. Well, we don't like to see moments like this. Kevin Blackwell's going to be spoken to by the referee. You don't want it to get sent off, that's the last thing we want. Memories of the Colchester playoff semi-final. And when Neil Warner was sent off, of course, a memorable occasion that. Mick Jones has now come to the dugout. Things obviously are worrying him a little. And whilst the play continues, Mick Jones is just having a word with the linesman. Well, the fans have certainly got going now. In the game of Saunders last, and for once the referee will make a decision that cannot be contested. Well, now the referee's having another word with um, someone. I think it's a uh, head injury. The referee will quite rightly stop play and get this going to C2 straight away. <coughs> I think it's been a new law passed in the summer that if any blood is on a player's face, he has to leave the pitch. And quite a nasty wound, in fact, below his right ear. The number eight there, Justin Skinner, a lot of blood and rightly having to leave the pitch. The referee, following the latter of the law, cannot be criticised for doing so. Francois Perron, outstanding run by an outstanding player, it seems. Sheffield starts another Argyle attack, headed away by Evans. Paul Williams to Paul Watson, the young centre back, searching for a ball. Well up, Corazon. Good turn there by Bowley. Wants protection from the ref, doesn't get it. Come on, move, man, move. That's Little John. Paul Williams. Barlow. One of Argyle's most loyal players. Barlow, well in. And this is Ronnie Morget. It's Little John trying to turn. Mount Good in a bit of trouble. Gets out of jail very nicely indeed. That's Evans. We also want Justin Skinner to be allowed to go back onto the pitch. At the moment, he's not being allowed to do so. And still, Skinner hasn't caught the attention of the referee. Now he has. And Warsaw are back to 11 men. Meantime, it's Basil, or Roger Bowley. If I call him Basil once more, he can shoot me. Bowley, outstanding ball to John Francois Perron. Perron, first time cross, there's Bowley, Skinner almost very nearly got there, instead it's Hodge, Hodge going for goal, came off Watson and now Argyle can break, Little John. Onside, Wilson, but it looks like Evans is going to get there first. Saunders, a rather dangerous ball, but Watson, thankfully, gets to it first for Argyle. His Hodge. John Hodge, former ex to Falmouth winger. So knows about the southwest very well indeed. 
Halfway through this first half, it's Plymouth nil, Warsaw nil. And suddenly there's an eerie silence over Home Park. Matfield. Little job. Wilson's making a run. And Williams to the left. Here's Corazon. There is Williams. Good ball by the Canadian international. Williams gets a great cross in. Wilson chests it down. Goes for goal. Took a deflection. Beautifully set up by Wilson. And it's a corner to Argyle. Barlow's going to take this one. Saunders is up there. John Francois Perron gets it away. Billy. Paul Header. Lovely play there by Warsaw. To keep possession. John Francois Perron. Trying to play a one two there. Hiko gets in the way. Nice football that by Warsaw. Hodge. The flag is up. Andy Watson offside. Corazon, well played. Saunders chests it down. Well, great to see Mark Saunders back in action this season. He's been earning a lot of praise for his commitment and training. He's superb up at Carlisle last Saturday. And the referee certainly making the news at the moment, giving our goal a free kick. Although, in fairness, it was the referee's assistant who um, flagged for the decision. <coughs> So there's no Logan this, this time for a free kick set piece. Even though he's top goal scorer, he's injured of course. So Argyle do have Heathcote though to get on the end of this one. And also Corazon who gets his head onto that in the end. Wilson. Williams control lets him down, but no one around to punish Williams there, so Argo keep possession. Morge. Lovely play there by the Wembley hero. In the end though, dispossessed and it's a goal kick. Come on! Ref, piss off! I got free kick. Well, Saunders can see a free kick now. Well, I don't know if that was for, I'm not quite sure. Nice play again, here's Jean-Francois Perron. Heathcote. 
stops the Frenchman with outstanding piece of defending. You have to say what an acquisition Jean-Francois Perron looks to be for Warsaw. He's playing so well. Basil Bowley was, or Roger Bowley was the man we were told to watch out for, but it's his fellow Frenchman Jean-Francois Perron who's impressing so far. And by the way, you can shoot me because I called him Basil again, didn't I? Here's what, here's Morgé. Central position, this could be dangerous. Well, also, look worried, only Bowley pushes, stays forward as they put everyone back. Well, they tried one from the training ground already. This time, Corazon might have a crack. Paul Watson. Never forget his goal last season against Brighton, showing he can hit them in from long range. Indeed, Watson goes for goal, hits the wall, the offside flag is up. And a promising move wasted. The it's a wall sort of player to their own side. Tosser for the wall anyway, thought. Warsaw's last performance in the league away from home was at Preston when they earned a 0-0 draw. They didn't earn very complimentary reports from that game, meant to be very defensive. Today, in fairness, they're looking a lot more outgoing. And creative as well. Here's Skinner. Skinner, pull ball. Barlow, always first to the ball. Again, Barlow has a great way of the, or a look at the referee, demanding why a free kick wasn't given. Lovely layoff there by Bowley. And this is Watson. Watson trying to curl one in. Heathcote vitally got there, but then Bowley smashes it in. And Argyle have received so many warnings about the French star before the game. Helpless there as Roger Bowley smashes in an unstoppable shot. 30 minutes into this game. And it's Plymouth nil, Warsaw 1. Well, Heathcote looked like he might have stopped the danger. But the ball found, ran kindly to Bowley and all he had to do was hit the ball as hard as he could into the back of the net. Once played on the same side as Eric Cantona when he was at FC Lons. Also played for such sides as Auxerre and Le Havre. That's his eighth goal this season. The older brother of Basil Bowley. Scored a hat-trick earlier this season against Southend. So many good things to say about this man. And with a shot like that, you can see why. And the Argyle fans for now quiet. Come on, 
Let it go. Let it go. Well, I make that Argos first corner of the game now. I feel a bit, a bit of a judge to be a goal down. Richard, you never score from corners. You mentioned that. We never score from corners. Apparently, I'm told. Perhaps Barlow can prove that man wrong. Heathcote very nearly in there. And now it's Williams who's going to have to be the hero for Argyle in the end, the back pass. Well, Argyle fans moment, it turned out to be a good pass to Billy in the end. Well, Walker in trouble. The defenders were saying before that moment, why, why bother coming out? And they've seemed to be proved right as Walker made a complete hash of that and very lucky to escape. Heathcote. Williams. Bit of, bit of, a, bit of a shirt taking on Mark Saunders, but play continues through Barlow. Barlow. Barlow goes for goal. That's an outstanding effort. to fit the occasion. His first goal of the season, Martin Barlow, brings Home Park to its feet. That goal came after 33 minutes. Martin Barlow, the goal scorer, Plymouth Argyle won, Warsaw won. Well, you have to say, a shot looked on the cards there from Barlow. The Warsaw players were defending very, very deep, all in the penalty area. Barlow had few options but to shoot. And when he did, my goodness, what a strike. James Walker just stood in disbelief. And what a game we now have on our hands. Mountfield concedes the corner. Warsaw demand a free kick. I don't get it, you know. And now Argyle on a high after being silenced moments earlier through Roger Bowley's goal. It's all Argyle now. What an atmosphere we have. Heathcote's the main man here, obviously. It's a lovely corner. And it's a throw into Argyle. Warsaw fans now furious that a free kick wasn't given. With about 90 minutes left before half time. I got won't want the half time whistle to be blown at the moment there. Certainly on top. Uh, Wilson going for the spectacular. Lovely goal he scored up at Carlisle last Saturday. Volleying it into the net. But this time he failed to produce a repeat performance. Well, Barlow scored just one goal last season. Who was that against? That's right, it was Warsaw. Bowling. Pulls to the ground, expecting something from the referee. All he gets is a get on with it, son. Bavish, an unsure clearance. Very physical game we have here at Home Park. That was one of the least physical challenges, and yet a free kick's awarded. It's Watson. Good play there by Watson, but too much pace on the ball, is it? Indeed, goal kick. 
Andy Watson scored twice in the last 10 minutes of extra time to secure that win, win against Nottingham Forest in the Coca-Cola Cup on last Wednesday. Corazon determined to make sure that ball was his, shouting to Saunders to leave it alone. Corazon. Billy to Little John. Little John. Former Warsaw trainee. Gets a great ball in. Wilson's header. And he's just too short to get proper contact on that ball. I'm winning a lot of the aerial challenges today. Keith Coat. An unsure header, but just too much pace on it for Corazon to take advantage. Played Watson, appreciated by this home park crowd. Jean Francois Perron. Bowley, lovely turn. That's Warsaw's ball. Oh, when Warsaw attack, they look so dangerous. Not only the French player, but Watson as well, all capable of harming our goal this afternoon. Is Keats. Not seen too much of him in fairness in this game so far. And again, not another occasion he'll remember with fondness. Here's Wayne Evans. Playing either full back position, this man, very versatile. Lovely turn again by Watson. Outstanding effort. <laughs> and in the end, ridiculed by the Argyle fans, but he deserves praise for some lovely approach work. Well, whether it's this atmosphere, but I'm not quite sure, but it's been a memorable first half so far. It's five minutes before half time, and it's Plymouth nil, Plymouth Argyle 1, Warsaw 1. And with the promise of more goals to come, it's has to be one of the better games this season at home park. Billy didn't come out of that challenge too well, holds his head. Paul Watson. Wilson deserves a lot of praise for even. Managed to get contact on that ball. This is Rogers. Again, commendable football here by Warsaw. This is Watson. Good covering back by Paul Watson. And Warsaw now are about to take their second corner of the afternoon. Plymouth one, Warsaw one. 42 minutes played. Away by Watson. Dangerous times this for Plymouth. Saunders and away. What an outstanding strike, even though it woke out by Jean Francois Parham. Got beautiful contact on that ball. But the flag was up for offside.
Watson. Wilson foul there. Darren Rogers quite clearly pulling Wilson's shirt. And an easy decision for the ref. Taken quickly by Billy. And as one support rider points out, that was a bit of a waste. Here's Billy. Mourget, well up. Corazon, lovely effort. Turned superbly, Carlo Corazon. Appreciated even by the referee. And in the end, shoots over. Free kick to Warsaw. At least the referee's trying to play the advantage rule this afternoon. That deserves some credit as we approach the final minute. Well, the keeper, John Sheffield, shouts for the ball. And then all the pressure was on him, he had to win that one, and he did with ease. Wilson. It's been a bruising encounter. Pavish, the latest player to nurse a wound. Here's Corazon. Barlow, are we going to get a repeat? For now, no. Billy. Well, this time, again, it's Saunders who falls to the ground. And I for sure that was a penalty, but I think in the end the referee justified him playing on. Well, Billy's crossed there, and the way Saunders took it reminded me of Michael Evans' goal last season against Preston. There's no more Evans, of course, at Argyle. But there's certainly a Martin Barlow. It's this goal that's got him back in this game after Roger Bowley smashed Warsaw into the lead on 30 minutes. Three minutes later, though, Martin Barlow, with all the time in the world, smashed an unstoppable shot into the far corner. And Argyle deserved the emphatic applause they're getting from the club supporters. It's come the Argyle 1, Warsaw 1. And all I can say is what an exciting second half we have on our hands. Welcome back. Adrian Edeljohn and Carlo Corazon will resume play. Not this time, what was wrong? Reset our watches. 
And second time, luckily, the referee decides we can get this second half underway. It's Plymouth 1, Walsall 1, evenly balanced at the moment. Here's Morget. Broke Argyle fans' hearts when he scored two goals for Exeter here at Home Park. Terrible day that for Plymouth Argyle. Wilson now, he's going to have to do it all on his own if he's to do anything at all. Still Wilson, the referee plays advantage. Little John, it's an awkward cross. Saunders keeps it in play. Uh, second attempt, Walker manages to keep possession. Free kick to Argyle, even though it's a Warsaw player down. So last season Argyle did the double over Warsaw. At the Westcott Stadium, it finished Walsall nil, Argyle 1. Adrian Littlejohn scoring against his former club. Then here at Home Park, it was a memorable day. Argyle winning by two goals to nil. Mark Saunders and Martin Barlow scoring the goals. That game secured Argyle's survival in the second division, and it was also Bruce Grobbelaar's last ever game for Plymouth Argyle. That was Morget. Well, here to be a push. Again, it's Mark Saunders falling to the ground. And again, it's the referee playing on. That's the third time Walt Saunders has gone down in the penalty area in this game. And not once has the referee even suggested a penalty could be given. Here's Paul Williams. What's all throwing? Here's Barlow. Billy, first time ball. Little John I thought was going to get hold of that for a moment. Recently made his 100th appearance to the club, James Walker. And in the time it took him to take that goal kick, he could have made another 100 appearances. Saunders. Williams. To Paul Watson. Watson playing it safe to John Sheffield. It's Hodge. Skinner. Both sides playing at the moment, playing keep ball. Little John lacks support. Watson now. Andy Watson gets a cross in. Paul Watson has to be there first. Heathcote. Not a good header. Better from Morget. And he gets a free kick for his troubles. <coughs> <laughs> oh. 
50 minutes gone in this game. Plymouth, nil, Plymouth 1, Warsaw 1. Who's going to win this one? Well, the, play, the ball runs to Williams, so the referee says play on. Here's Williams. Williams taking on Evans. And in the end, also taken over the ball line. And it's a goal kick. We know about Argyle still needing their first one of the season, of course. Third from bottom at the moment, but only two points above them are Warsaw. And yet they've won two games this season. Away from home, they've only picked up the one point so far. That was at Preston, perhaps expanding their defensive performance. The previous three away games had lost, conceding seven goals in the process. So I don't think a point would be too disastrous for Warsaw this afternoon. Corazon. Mouget. This is Martin Barlow. Maybe fancies another pop. Warsaw should have learned their lesson by now. Fred to free ball to Wilson. The flag is up. Well, maybe some people are now expecting Barlow to shoot after his heroics for the first half. Instead, he slips a lovely through ball there to Wilson. The flag thwarting his efforts. Well, Heathcote struggling, Sheffield commanding. Heathcote apologises for that slip up, almost letting Bowley in. Paul Williams. Little John trying to turn, instead Wilson almost oh, back for no. Matfield's down. Well, Manfield would have been in the wars many times during his long career. He was all set for a move to Hereford in the summer and still a, so the new manager, Jan Sorensen, offered him a player coach position which he accepted with great enthusiasm. Former Everton and Aston Villa man, of course. This is his third season at the club and perhaps his most memorable now he's been given such responsibility. Well, Manfield's up. And play can continue. James Walker will take this free kick. Also now in their third corner of the game. Warsaw fans encouraging their side on to victory. It's a good corner, good header also by Heathcote. Skinner has a second chance to cross it in. Still Skinner. Finally plays it to Keats. Poor ball there by the number 10. Lots to learn. Billy, outstanding play. Three players up with Billy. Argyle really have to make something from this. Little John. Still Little John. Falls to the ground. Never a penalty. Superb tackle by Evans. The Warsaw players accusing Little John of theatrics. It's a stunning break by Chris Billy, and Little John will be disappointed that he didn't make more of that. Here's Wilson. Argyle's corner. Wayne Evans, not the most popular man at home back at the moment. He's earning himself a few critics. It's not a corner at all, it's a throw, and I do apologise. Mulgay will take this one. 
And this time I'll go to get the corner. Better late than never. So the 10th minute of this second half, it's one all at the moment. The goal scorer, Martin Balu, will take the corner kick. Heathcote was in there. Watson! Superbly blocked by Mountfield, prevented a near certain goal. Well played, Little John, showing great determination. What a shot was outstanding and prevented a really brave, you know, really brave block there by Mountfield to prevent a lot of danger for Warsaw. Barlow. Nice little layoff to Heathcote and then he gets the ball back again. Corazon and Orm still in the impossible and keeping the ball in play. Barlow's straight there with our goals, just, just a fourth goal at home part all this season. Not including, of course, that amazing Coca-Cola clap clash of Oxford, but four goals really isn't enough. And I think Argyle will know that. But unlike other games, at least Argyle today are creating chances, and that's promising to say the least. Is Evans. Well, Wilson's only been in the club a short time, but he's certainly becoming a crowd favourite. Always enthusiastic, always threatening. Bowley. Bowley with luck and a bit of skill almost got his way through there. <coughs> and the fans now in full voice. Well, clear handball there by Hodge. It must have been accidental for the referee to play off. Bowley. Bowley strikes and it needs a fingertip save there by Sheffield. It wasn't going in, but the referee couldn't have been sure, or the goalkeeper couldn't have been sure. And I've got to complain here, but that was a corner kick. Earlier, though, why on earth? A free kick wasn't given against John Hodge, I'm never too sure. And that will certainly be in tomorrow's newspapers. If Warsaw now scored from this corner kick, because it should never have been given. I should have had a free kick for a handball by this man, John Hodge. Approaching the 14th minute, and the usually very reliable John Francois Perron completely making a hash of his shot there. I thought that was going to go in, but unfortunately for Warsaw, he didn't get full contact and it went harmlessly wide. It's Billy. Trickles out of play. The referee stops play meanwhile. Meantime, for a quick word with Wayne Evans and Paddy Wilson wherever. This is a bit of a feud that we haven't been seeing off the ball. I'm not too sure. Two bookings so far today, of course. Chris Billy for Argyle, Adrian Ravish for Warsaw, both early on in the game. It's not been as flying this second half as the first, but still a very intriguing game. Well, 
Charlton foul free kick. Barlow takes responsibility. Little John. Still Little John. Little John falls to the ground, wanting a penalty. Morgé's not thinking about that for now. Corazon chesting it down. Maybe should have gone for header. And now a bit of a push and shove, completely unnecessary. Carlo Corazon involved. Oh, I don't know what Corazon did wrong there. He was the one being pushed, but never mind. Drops sent off, of course, on the opening day of the season, Corazon. And a suspension and then had to go on international duty, so it's a quite a long absence for Corazon. Watson. Hodge. Evans, a poor ball, and now it's Watson. That was a poor ball as well, but it won't be noticed by the Argyle fans because it went straight to an Argyle player. Hodge. It's a goal kick to Argyle. <coughs> so the one major summer signing, John Sheffield, signed from Peterborough United, takes this goal kick. He'll be eager to get on with things. He knows how important a win is. Little John. Excellent ball, Morge into the danger area, but nobody really challenging. Barlow. Barlow pushed. Skinner pushing Barlow there. And it's a free kick. I think Barlow and Skinner after an initial anger, enjoying a little joke at the moment, which is good to see. And not the first time I've got about a free kick in this position. Failed to take advantage so far. Things might be different now. We've already seen Barlow play a short one. And Watson having a crack at goal. What's the third occasion going to bring? Corazon standing over the ball, grabs it's his toe. Eighteen minutes into the second half, Corazon. Well, he got the positioning right, but absolutely no pace on the ball to trouble James Walker. And then what was Walker doing there? Almost causing his side a lot of trouble. Saunders. Wilson. Well, you have to say that's controversial. Adrian Littlejohn was not interfering with play and was given offside. Wilson in an onside position, smashes the ball into the net, and our goal, like Wilson in the first half, have a goal disallowed, but you have to say that was very unfair. Little John had his hand up, showing it wasn't interfering with play. And Wilson denied his second goal in the week. Another offside. This time, not so difficult for the referee to give. The 2 0 7 splashing. Well played, Barlow. Well, this is not easy for the Warsaw defence at all. Skinner. Hodge, well played. One for Watson to chase. Well played Heathcote. And now Watson, can he keep it in play? He can understand a free kick anyhow. That's Billy with the ball forward. Favish. 
off Saunders to Barlow. And plenty of space is Paul Williams. Morge. Barlow again on his own, unmarked and Corazon stretching. Just misses out on making contact. Here's Chris Billy. <laughs> Flag is up. Play can continue. Bottom. Largyle need. Just want to get the ball forward, really, and then finally Watson does that. Hodge. Sandwich between three Argyle players, throw into the visitors. <laughs> Bowling. Skinner. And now Andy Watson. Heathcote concedes a free kick and this is extremely dangerous now. With so many skillful players on the side, Warsaw will thrive on a position like this. It's indirect. Obstruction obviously the decision. Twenty two minutes into the second half, the game's rather Goal at the moment, and perhaps Walsall will want to liven things up with a goal. Hodge is dangerous from set pieces. Dean Keats has been very quiet this afternoon. They also fancy a crack. It's Hodge's shot. Sheffield save. Vish is furious that the ball wasn't given to him. Disappointed that he had to try all the way up field just for a, such a poor free kick as that. Bowley. Bowley now, this is dangerous, running at the eye of the fence. Barlow doing well to keep up with him. Still Bowley, Bowley shoots. Outstanding save by Sheffield. Best moment of the second half, without a doubt. Roger Bowley, where was the defender, you have to ask, but... Just parrying that was John Sheffield's superb save. Showing his worth yet again to the Argos side. Here's Hodge. Five corners apiece now. Well, that was a straight shoulder shot there by John Francois Perron. Whilst we reflect on that, Barlow's now pushing up front. Little John. Still Little John. Paul Williams is free on the left. Wilson back to Williams. Williams across is surely on the cards. Williams taking on Matfield for now. Wilson! Wilson shoots, great save by Walker. And it's Barlow. Well, the only thing wrong with Wilson's shot there was that it was straight at the keeper. Otherwise, I think we'd have had a goal on our hands. Barlow! I don't believe it! What a freak goal by Martin Barlow! The Warsaw players hold their heads in disbelief. But the keeper was off his line, and Martin Barlow produces an absolute Standing goal, all of 30 yards. 
one goal in the whole of last season already. He's scored two today. It's Club of Argyle 2, Warsaw 1, 24 minutes into the second half. Warsaw now have 20 minutes to get back into this game. Strange silence over for home part, but Wilson had an encounter for Martin Barlow. And two goals from outside the penalty area. But now turning this game into a day of celebration. Trying to pick out little John, too much pace on the ball. Offside Wilson. Little John wasn't interfering with a play, but Wilson was and he was offside. Absolutely correct decision there by the ref. Williams can break for Argyle. Wilson. And again. Wilson. Determined. And the offside flag is up against Little John. Sheffield, like it by Heathcote. Here's Perron for Warsaw. And Barlow back defending, outstanding work. Well, has not only got two goals, but look at him covering every inch of grass. Determined to keep our goal in the lead. That might be hard. With chances like that for Skinner. Unmarked. And you have to say that was a real chance going begging there for Warsaw. Foley. Foley. Saunders back to Billy. Billy best get rid of it, I think, and does so. Foul there on Wilson. Darren Rogers, the offender. Free kick to the Pilgrims. Just a reminder of court and out to go, there's been no substitutions made yet. I've got up Neil Ilman, Eugene, and Simon Collins on the bench. 
Gary Porter, Stuart Ryder and Clive Pat are available should Warsaw need a change of personnel. Evans. Lovely turn there by Bowley. Well Saunders is on the ground after a tackle there. Looked accidental. Dean Keats fouling Saunders but I think he's going to get a booking for that. Saunders is close to the ground with so many injury problems you just pray that that's not another casualty. Finally signed his contract in the week as Dean Keats gets booked. Hey, on the suburb of Carlisle, has done great reports for his form in training and gets his first appearance of the season today and is up on his feet again, thankfully. That's Corazon, and unfortunately, Little John was going in the opposite direction, otherwise, that would have been a lovely layoff. Well, Little John and Walker having a war of words, not necessary. And there's some activity on the Warsaw Substitutes bench, a change is going to be made very soon. Saunders again in the wars. Morge, Corison, Wilson, Little John, and Saunders all in there. Barlow now attempting to find one of those men. It's Morge's header. Corison. Gets the ball first, and now this is Williams. Williams showing some superb pace. Good covering back there by Hodge. And our goal in the sixth corner of the game. Barlow's going to take this then. There was Mark Saunders who scored with a header last season against Warsaw. This time not so lucky. And now it's time for a substitution by Warsaw. Just 19 years of age, Clive Platt, who's about to come on, the number 14. Darren Rogers is the man being sacrificed. Prolific scorer for the reserves and now he's hoping to repeat his form for the first team. And starting today would be very nice indeed for Warsaw. So Clive Platt's on then, and he's got about 11 minutes to make a dramatic change for Warsaw. Heathcote misses that completely, Watton doesn't. I think the foot was up a bit high there on Watton, free kick. Watson. Corazon making a use of his himself. Wilson could have fell anywhere and in the end it's James Walker relieved to be having the ball. Watson, what's he doing? Poor header. Here's Hodge. Argyle throw in to the disgust of Jan Sorensen. Roger, 
Little John almost there, but denied at the last by Vavish. Bowley, lovely control. Bowley runs at Heathcote. But Argos player of the year. Billy is the hero. I thought I was going to have to eat my words then, but... Thankfully, no, and now the flag is up. Preventing a near certain goal for Corazon. Ten and a half minutes to go before our goal can relax. Before that, we've got a lot of dramatic, intense play on our hands. Hodge, three. And even more space is Keats. And this is now Jean Francois Perron. Billy for company. The Frenchman finally gets a cross in, does he? No, that's clearly a goal kick. Perron again. Keats. Heathcote has to play it back to Sheffield and Sheffield has to clear the ball. Keats. Good there by Argyle to force Perron into a defensive position. Here's Watson. But he's got there first. And Hoop, there he is. Here's a Frenchman at number six. Hodge. Thwarted by Corazon. Great play. Little John fouled. Bowley, you shouldn't be throwing the ball like that. You're going to get yourself booked. For those who didn't see it, Bowley just threw the ball in disgust. And if the referee had seen that, surely it would have been a booking for the Frenchman at number seven. Showing a bit of the temperament there, Bowley, of his famous brother. Mouget misses it, but Skinner doesn't. And now Bowley, doing what he does best, running at the defence here superbly. Brought down by Watson, terrible foul. <laughs> well, Watson's going to go into the book here, joining his teammate Billy. But Bowley doing. Noticeable how he loves to run at defenders. It's very hard to stop him once he gets going. And Watson having to make an illegal foul to stop him in the end. Six minutes to go. Argyle leads, but for how long? Argyle will be hoping until the fourth final whistle. Here's Dean Keats. And a pretty disastrous free kick there by a person who's not exactly had the best of games. Made his debut against Argyle last season, Keats, so happy memories of Plymouth. He's a very tiny player, only five foot and five inches. Keats does, and again it's another attack by the visitors, desperate to get back into this game. Keats, well played Heathcote. Billy, can he get there first? Yes he can, superb. Billy's now down. Keats. Well whilst Billy's down in a heap, play continues. I just want to get the ball out of play. His Skinner. 
Skinner shoots. Agonizingly wide. Well, not the best of sportsmanship by Warsaw. Gaspardo tried to get the ball out of play, but once he was tackled, Keats continued. But in the end, Skinner with a shot. I think Sheffield looked stranded, to say the least. And it was a lucky let-off for Argyle, no question about that. Jan Sorensen on the bench was a figure of absolute disbelief. As he looks at his watch, he'll, he's asking about how long it's to go, and I think we've been being told that it's about four minutes left. Well, he's a crucial player to Argyle. You hope he's OK to continue? The obvious replacement for Billy, should he come off is Simon Collins. But I think Billy's going to say he's going to be OK to carry on any minute now. They need him at the moment, Argyle. Corazon. The flag is up against Wilson. Whilst Billy continues receiving attention, Warsaw make their second change, and Dean Keats has had a very quiet game, in fairness, is going to come off. And Gary Porter, released by Watford after missing exactly, making exactly 400 appearances for the club, is going to come on. Billy's back on the field, by the way. I've got to have 11 players once more. So the second change now by Warsaw, Porter on. He's only been given about two and a half minutes plus any stoppage time to try and change things. Not a lot of time for him. Here's Watson. To Barlow, who's certainly made an impression this afternoon. And the ball bouncing over everyone. The referee stopping play again. And also now have to push everyone forward. It's a do or die effort for them now. Sheffield, an extra shoot. Watson. Still Watson, nice skill, but he needs to get the ball into the penalty area. He does that as well. Outstanding cross. Outstanding goalkeeping. Not the best of goal kicks there by Will, um, Sheffield because Neil John is completely unmarked. Argyle's free kick, Argyle's throwing. And now Williams looks uncomfortable, he's on the floor. Well, the Argyle fans alone have made this an incredible day for the club. And a win really would cap things, it's Little John. Little John and Bavish having to cut out the play. Finally cleared. Saunders. Matfield brings it down. Hoops the ball forward. Heathcote back to his keeper. That's a good goal kick by Sheffield. Plenty of distance. And here's Williams. Corazon to his left, but Williams goes alone. Williams finally prevented from the reach of the penalty area, it's a throw-in. <laughs> Saunders. Corazon flicks it on. That was Evans.
We're now into any time the referee wishes to add on for injuries. It's that close to the final whistle. Lovely play by Wilson. Morshe. Barlow. And Argo needlessly give possession away. Will they be punished? What? It's Watson. Argo praying for the final whistle. It's Hodge. Hodge crossing it in. And punched away by Sheffield. It's a corner kick. Well, Argo certainly being made to work for their win. Morshe in the first place should have cleared it rather than going for a back pass. And then messed things up with Barlow and is very nearly punished. Sixth corner of the game for Walsall. Well, how on earth do Argo survive all this? Williams away. Clive Pat's only been on for a few moments, but he's made a real impression in the last couple of minutes. We're in a minute into stoppage time. It's Bowley. Still Bowley. The referee plays advantage despite the foul by Williams. Oh, this is incredible stuff. Just get the ball away, Argo. It's the crossbar and away by Heathcote. And now it's Wilson. It's three against two. It's Little John. Can he cap out on for Argo? Adrian Little John. What an incredible finale. It's Warsaw's goal kick. Two minutes into stoppage time. And there it is! And Argo thoroughly deserving it. The fans have been magnificent this afternoon. Argo fans holding each other in celebration. And perhaps this is the turning point of the 1996-97 season. Mick Jones comes onto the pitch to thank the Argyle fans. And let's just savour these moments. Mick Jones calling his players. And I haven't seen an atmosphere like this at Home Park for years. Well, Bowley put Warsaw in front after 30 minutes and it looked like it might ruin the party. But Martin Barlow with a superb strike on 33 minutes and then a rather freakish goal on 69 minutes has won the game for Argyle. Martin Barlow got the goals, but there were 11 heroes out there. That's another 7 or 8,000 more Argyle fans. Finished Plymouth Argyle 2, Warsaw 1, and Mick Jones and his team get the applause they so richly deserve. My name is Richard Hoskin. Thank you very much for watching.